Hello everyone, this is Prof Ron, and this video is about making your blog more accessible. Why should you want to make your blog more accessible? Because readers of blogs do not read a blog the same way that they read, say, a short story. A short story we read from the top to the bottom. But that's not true of other types of writing on the web. For example, a news source. A news source, we get a list of headlines and we scan the headlines for something that is interesting to us. A headline in a news story should contain all the key information that we need to know about the story. And often reading a headline is enough. For example, here, nuclear talks interrupted by a death in Iran. We know what happened, we know why it happened, we know where it happened. That makes it easy for us as readers to consume the news quickly. If a headline stands out to us as interesting, for example, this one, Elon Musk says self-driving Tesla cars will be in the U.S. by summer, we read the blurb below it. Like the headline, the blurb should contain all the key information for the article, only this time with a little bit more detail. This one says, for many drivers who commute long distances, the prospect of owning a self-driving car, where a driver takes his hands off the wheel and the feet off the gas, has been an elusive dream. If we are still interested, we click on the article, and it is presented to us in a way that is easily accessible. You'll notice here that we have the blurb again, which contains the key ideas, and notice the length of the paragraph here. This is the New York Times, but this opening paragraph is one sentence long, and it is the main idea of the article. If we look down below, all of the other paragraphs are also very short. That is because readers on the internet like to be able to consume information quickly. They like to be able to scan articles and find what is interesting to them. The links in the next paragraph actually serve two purposes. One, obviously, is to offer an avenue for more information about that topic. But another effect that it has is to highlight certain key terms. For example, here we have Elon Musk, who is the chief executive of Tesla. That's the company in question here. And we also have this highlighted here, electric cars. Because of the links, readers can easily scan this paragraph and know what the paragraph is about. In comparison, let's take a look at our class blog, The Electric Word. We have a headline here, blog post by student scholars in child development and psychology. I think that title is pretty clear. It contains key words that help readers know what the post is about, and also hopefully helps it to do better in search engines. The paragraphs are short. They contain links to the titles of your blogs, so readers can easily scan the paragraphs and see what the paragraph is about. However, as we scroll down my blog, you see that it takes a long time to get from one post to the other. In other words, it is not easy for readers to scan my homepage and find the blog posts that are most interesting to them. That's easy to fix, however. I can do it with the More button, which you can find right here on your editing bar. When I pass over it, it says Insert Read More Tag. So first of all, I'm going to find a place to do it. I usually put it after the first paragraph. Make a space. Click on the More tag, and update your post. I have now added the More tag to all the posts on the Electric Word. As you can see, it is easier to scan the posts on the home page and find the posts that are interesting to the reader. You will also notice that I have added headings to this longer post to help readers find the information that is most interesting to them. The concept here is multiple points of entry. Blog readers don't often read a blog the way we read a short story from top to bottom. Often they are scanning the post, looking for the information that is most interesting to them. So you as a writer should provide them multiple points of entry, multiple ways for them to find what they are looking for. We do that with clear headlines or titles. We do that with headings. We do that with links, or if you don't have a link, you can bold keywords of your paragraph. 
and we do that with short paragraphs. These techniques should make your blogs easier to read. So, what are you waiting for? Go add multiple points of entry to your posts.